Hey, what is up? It's Six Tally Zero, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a tethered boot on uh, iOS 5, 5.0, and uh, 5.0.1. Um, let's see this iPhone right here. It's currently on uh, iOS 5.0. You can see there's Siri on there. And uh, general about. And uh, 5.0. Unfortunately, this is a 411 iPhone 4, so it's just AT&T, which sucks. Uh, what you're going to do is open up uh, Red Snow 0.9.9, .9, um, whatever beta you have. I usually use beta 5. Um, here I'm going to be showing you beta 8. So we open that. Go to extras for iOS 5.0, um, just do just boot for 5.0.1, uh, do select IPSW. You're also going to need to download um, the 5.0 IPSW file for your device, whether you have a 3GS or a iPhone 4. Um, let's see. And uh, the easiest way I find IPSWs is by typing the word iPhone. For iPhone 4, it's 3-1. For iPhone 3GS, it's 2-1. So I was looking for an iPhone 3GS. I do 2-1. Just like that. If you can see that. Uh, but this, uh, this is an iPhone 4, so I'm going to do 3 and look for my 5.0 file. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, successfully identified, go to just boot. Now, um, if you know how to put it into DFU mode, uh, you just simply hold both buttons for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go of the power button, but keep holding the home button. Um, you can also just click next, and it has the instructions right there. So I'm just going to simply go ahead and uh, do just boot. After it shuts off, wait about 4 seconds, and uh, one two, three, four. That's been ten seconds. Keep holding the home button. Usually about seven seconds it starts reading. You can let go of the home button. This whole process should take maybe about a minute. And uh, a successful tether boot will just show the pineapple. After it says done on your screen, you can actually take it off and it'll just boot. And yes, this is a red iPhone 4. If you were just wondering. Um, a tethered boot usually takes about 20-30 seconds after it says done. You do not need to have it connected after it says done on your computer. Okay. And we go to Cydia. And there you go. Uh, tethered boot for iOS 5 and um, and again if you're on iOS 5.0 you can just simply uh, do just boot you do not have to select the IPSW if you're on iOS 5.0.1 like I am on my uh, white iPhone 4 um, then you do have to select the IPSW um, that's pretty much it uh, comment rate subscribe this is 6 Italia 0 and um yeah, follow me on Twitter at six tell you zero. Alright, see ya.